To fully understand how to manipulate the connect tissue that you just had from your patient, you need to know the basics of anatomy and the composition of the connect tissue graft. The microanatomy of the tissue of the palate has the following compositions. It has one portion of epithelium and underlying the connect tissue. The epithelium has in average 0.8 to 1.2 mm, while the connect tissue has 3.83 ranging from 2.29 to 6.25. This range depends on patient to patient and also the location, where the premolars usually have the thicker tissue. Once we remove the epithelium and continue to study the microanatomy, the connect tissue itself has on its composition about 67% containing fibrous connect tissue, about 22% containing fat or granular tissue and is a reminder that this fat and granular tissue are usually more located in the deepest part of the connect tissue and 9% of low vessels. It's important to note that the mainly composition of the connect tissue is water. Now knowing the composition of the connect tissue graph and where is located the main tissues, new techniques are being developed. The class technique was called subepithelial connect tissue graph where the connect tissue were, stay, were taken underlying the epithelium and the underlying connect tissue. In this way, the connect tissue was taken as a draw and some of the remaining fat tissue was also incised. The new technique, which is called the epithelialized gingival graft, the epithelium and the underlying connect tissue of the top is removed, leaving behind all the fat tissue. In this case, the epithelium has to be removed outside of the mouth. The main advantage of the classic connect tissue graft taken as a draw is after you remove the graft, you can place sutures and have a primary closure of your flap. In the epithelialized gingival graft technique, you have to remove both epithelium and connect tissue and work this epithelium outside of the mouth, leaving an open wound in the patient for the post operative process. What's more important is what we compare between subepithelial connect tissue graft and deep epithelialized gingival graft. They have statistically same root coverage in class 1 and 2 meters. So, after we remove completely the graft from the donor side, where should we place them as we work in the recipient side? The literature says, or has mentioned, that several grafts can be placed on blood sterile water and saline solution. In our case, connect tissue graft should not be mixed with blood because within coagulation of the blood, the pH is going to be reduced, causing cell death. Sterile water should not be used also because it is not an isotonic solution and will cause within time cell lysis. So the ideal solution that you place your connect tissue graft while you work in the recipient side is saline. You have enough time to start suturing the pellet, leaving this graft on saline until you start working in the recipient side.